I'm really excited for this exercise because here we will actually play with data. Please download the resource file where you have the data, the ready chart and explanations what to do step by step. You want to show to someone that what would happen if we got rid of refunds. This is a completely customized chart and the data needs to be modified in order to display that. I'll show you exactly how and why. If you want to show some projective data, data that isn't fulfilled yet, isn't real, you may do some gradients or transparency or some pattern fill like here. Let me select all the data and explain that when we actually work. Okay, number one, our task is make a new table with total sales, total sales without refunds and refunds. Okay, I will insert the chart, area chart, the normal area chart, okay. And let's do the magic now. This is the entire big chart. But what I actually wanted to show with this slide is total sales. I wanted to show you total sales without refunds. This would be cool, right? If we could get rid of refunds and refunds just to reinforce what we are talking about. If you cannot see it, just make it a little bigger. Total sales will be equal sign, sum in my case, opening the brackets and just summarizing everything we see here, sadly including the refunds. Extend it down and okay. Now total sales without refunds is the possibility if we somehow reduce the refunds, I will add one, two, three, four, but not the refunds. I'll press okay. And this is a different value now. The refunds, if we want them, I can simply take this part, control C and control V it here. Perfect. I've copied and I made a new table for myself. Let me take a look right now and let us modify the data that is selected here. I don't want this data to be selected. I want to click on select the new data range, select this chart, chart design, select the data and under select data. Let me move that aside. I want to show PowerPoint. Hey, I've created new data, select a new data. You can see everything has properly selected total sales, total sales without refunds and refunds. 30 days. Perfect. It automatically reads the first column. Okay. And we have something completely different, but as you can see, one chart is overlapping the other chart and it's not visible. So what you need to make sure, make sure that total sales without refunds are in the back. Again, here, click chart design, select the data. And under the select data here on the left side, you can change it to go one section down. Perfect. Now it should be revealed. You can see now it's in front of us. Perfect. Number four, filter our refunds for a stronger message. On this slide, I only want to talk about total sales. I don't need the refunds. I actually want to get rid of the refunds. You can click on the chart. There is this little filter button. Under the filter button, you can simply deselect refunds. You can also go to select data directly here and press apply. Refunds have evaporated artificially from the chart. Sadly, on the Mac version, we do not have those filter options. What you can do here, you can directly click on a series and just hit delete this backspace button. This will delete the entire series from this chart. If you go to chart design, select data, you will notice that the refunds aren't selected anymore. So if you want to bring them back, sadly, you will have to do this by hand and select all the data again. This way, you will get all three back again. Now, this chart in the background is what would happen if there would be no refunds. It's not real data yet. So I need to showcase this graphically that this is not real data. I'll right click, format data series. I'll open the filling options and I will plain and simple go to pattern fill. Pattern fill is great for showing projective data or data that isn't real yet. I usually go for those vertical lines. They look the best, but you can of course use any type of lines. Those are thicker, but I think the thinner ones are pretty okay. You can swap out the foreground and background color. For example, if I would talk about the projective data, I would make it green. I would make it thicker like that. And let's look at this. I would present this chart and I would say, Hey, if we somehow reduced or even made our refund rates to zero, 
we could achieve, if you look at the green chart, we could achieve this type of income. Pretty great, huh? This is our current income, including refunds, and the green chart shows our income without any refunds. Wouldn't that be cool? Let's work towards that. This is a great exercise to show that you can recompile and work with the data you already have and maybe present it on an area chart.